kiddies, and welcome to this special Halloween episode of The Booze Geek. I am once again your host, the host with no name. <laughs> Although, it looks like I have finally become a staple on this show. I don't mind, though I actually like it because it breaks up the monotony once a year. Breaks up the monotony of my dirt nap. <laughs> But enough jokes, because on this episode, we are tasting and reviewing a libation <gasps> from Deschutes Brewing, and they are located in Bend, Bend, Oregon. So from Deschutes, this is The Abyss. <laughs> and I have to ask now, have you all looked into the abyss? I sure have. And you know what I've seen? Nothing. You know why? Because I have no face! (laughs) But what is the abyss? Well, this libation is a barrel-aged imperial stout. Now this stout is brewed with blackstrap molasses licorice, and it is dry spiced with cherry bark and vanilla beans. But it is also aged in bourbon barrels, in wine barrels, and in New Oregon oak barrels. Boy, that's a lot of barrels. I wonder how old this beer is. It might be as old as I am. (laughs) But with all that, I am very parched. I think we should crack this open. I'm getting a little congested and very parched here. I think that the cockroaches are in my throat. (laughs) Let's wash them down with the abyss. Here we go. Let's open this. Open this bottle here. (laughs) Oh, come on now. Don't be stingy. Come on, a little more. There we go. Let's get a nice little... All Hallow's Eve pour here. Let's get this party started. That's what I'm talking about. My once a year party. Ooh, look at the color on this. If you can see it, uh, let's see it in the candlelight. You can't see it. Why? Because it is black like molasses. <laughs> it's like looking into the abyss itself. <laughs> But let's give this libation a nose here. What do we have aroma-wise? Well, I'm already smelling it well. We have... We have licorice! <laughs> we also have... Some dark chocolate. Some slight, slight vanilla. A tinge of... Roasted coffee. We also have. Let's swirl this a little more. We also have. There is that molasses sweetness coming through. Although I don't like sweet things. I've said that before on this show. What else do we have? This is a very, very complex beer. <laughs> well, there are some notes of bourbon, and there is a booziness. <gasps> coming off of it now. Here's the thing. With all of this, I don't even know if I mentioned the ABV. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Something's going on up here. I'm getting eaten alive. I don't know. This is what happens. But the ABV on this monster is 11.1%. And the IBU is 80, which is very high as well. And there are four hops in this beer, and those hops are Nugget, Millennium, Styrian, and Northern German Brewer. But with all that, I said I'm very parched, so let's give this a gulp down the old gutted gullet. Here we go. (laughs) Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, yeah, I will say, this is a medium body beer with all this that's going on, very medium bodied. But what do we have flavor wise? Well, I'm going to take one more sip. <laughs> Let's find out. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, well, we have that molasses sweetness is coming through, yes. We are getting some slight vanilla. Another slow here, another sip, I think. I can imbibe a little. We are having an All Hallows' Eve party. So here we go, another sip of this sip. <laughs> Some bit of chocolate, a little bit of mocha, also. <laughs> a little bit of dark fruit is coming through. I'm gonna swirl this again. Let me take another sip here. Ah, a little bit of that black licorice is coming through. A very, very big beer here. Another sip, another sip. Mm. And there are some notes of that bourbon barrel aging, but on the back end, kiddies, there is a booziness. At 11.1%, you might be seeing some things if you have one too many. <laughs> now, the moment of truth. What would I give this on the pint meter Well, after I take one another sip, I do like this here for party. And maybe I'll have one on Devil's Night as well, I don't know. <laughs> George, what do you think? This is George. We all met George. He's been on the last few years. Say hello, George. I know you don't like to speak. George has a little fool. He had his frog for dinner. <laughs> and this is George's cousin, Fred. He was on last year. Say hello, Fred. Hello. George is quiet, too. But anyways, back to the pentameter. What would I give this? I think... I'm going to give this libation... 9.5! 9.5! I have no complaints about this. Except maybe, not a complaint. I said it was a medium body beer. I wish this beer just had a little bit more weight to it. I wish it was a fuller body beer. This was a full body beer. A little meatier. <laughs> But beyond that, I mean, this is an excellent, excellent brew. The abyss. And I think everyone out there should go get one and have one on All Hallows' Eve. And we can all celebrate together. We can celebrate with George and Fred. And this is our new friend. This is Jack. He came from the pumpkin patch. Jack, would you like to say a few words, Jack? No, you do not want to talk. Why do you not want to talk now? What would you like to say? Uh, I guess Jack is being shy. Well, Jack, I understand. Sometimes we get camera shy. You sure? Let me get one more. Uh, nah. Welcome from the depths of the graveyard. Oh. Frightening, isn't it? I told you. <laughs> I told you. Thank you, Jack. Good introduction. Now... I hope you all enjoyed this All Hallows Eve episode. I'm going to wrap this up. Go get the abyss. And we will see you, kitties. Oh, you don't look so well. He wants to talk again. He's enjoying this. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>